So every month until launch, we're going to be getting new information for Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown. And as you guys already know, it's the month of May. And that means that we have the third letter today. And of course, this one goes over not only the Solar Hotel, but also goes in detail about houses, which we'll get into later. So without further ado, let's get straight into it, guys. Starting off with the first excerpt from the letter. It says, Welcome to the Solar Hotel. Dear Solar Club members, a little known but highly influential organization called Radiant will soon invite the first members to an extraordinary competition, the Solar Crown. The public are unaware of the group's motives, but it's clear what they value, prestige, a love of cars, and competition. No one knows the exact origins of Radiant, but it was made up of elite and influential people whose goal is to create a street racing extravaganza without limits. To allow future participants to compete in the best possible preparation, Radiant has built an impressive and luxurious building, the Solar Hotel. Now up on the screen is one of the first screenshots you guys are going to take a look at. And again, as always, I'm going to have two videos. One where I go over the letter and another one where I go over the screenshots in detail and their location. But anyways, moving on guys, it does continue to say, Located in Victoria Park in the heart of Causeway Bay, the Solar Hotel is a unique architectural jewel, which I gotta agree, as an architect, I quite love it. Its unusual and futuristic silhouette immediately leaves a big impression. At 540 meters high and with 120 floors, it is one of the 10 highest skyscrapers in the world. When you first encounter the Solar Hotel, there are several questions that will probably cross your mind. What's its role? How is it built? Who are the other residents? But one thing's for sure, it will always leave a big impact. And of course, another beautiful screenshot, as you guys can see on the screen, of the lower half, or I should say the lower third, of the Solar Hotel, with all of its surrounding trees, and you can see the road, the entrance to it, etc. Moving on though, let's continue. Now let's say a modern and luxurious HQ. After taking the elevator, you head to your first suite, graciously provided by Vivian, president of the Solar Club Organization Committee. Upon entering, you find yourself in a bright and spacious room, decorated in an ultra-modern, minimalist style. Here, you'll find your wardrobe where you can change your outfit whenever you want. Members who are concerned with their image can therefore always remain stylish and show off their coolest outfits for everyone else. For drivers who are more concerned with the competition, all the suites have an augmented reality screen with a wide range of information. Weather, yes, you guys already know, man. This, is, this literally sounds like TVU2 media. But anyways, weather, upcoming challenges, player profile, and progress details. In the comfort of this premium suite, your temporary home, you can recharge your batteries between races. The Solar Crown organization also stipulates that its most distinguished members will be offered increasingly prestigious suites as they move up through the ranks and gain more reputation. Rising up the Solar Hotel is another way to further increase your fame and dominate the world of TDU. It perfectly reflects the Radiant Selective philosophy. Every participant should feel important and be rewarded with privileges and every new outing around Hong Kong Island will start from your room, your own personal HQ. So this is really cool guys. Obviously, Test Route 2 Mia came back and this is the screenshot that they've shown us guys. Now again, I need to go in detail showing you guys all about this. But as you can see, we have a something framed on the wall, which I'll get into in the second video, as it does look to mean that we might actually have frameable pictures like we did in Test Drive Unlimited 2, which is, listen, very key in my opinion, and I can't wait. But the view you can see in the screenshot is, man, listen, I'm hyped, bro. This is what I really wanted. But anyways, let's continue on to the next part. And thank God, again, I think I already said it, but TD2 Media, finally, it's back. But anyways, moving on, we have a note from Jerome Mariotti who is the art director at Kilotom. And he does say the Solar Hotel is inspired by arcology and aerodynamics. Aerospace, yes sir. Anyways, it is notable for its slender and organic shape combined with the latest architectural aeros <laughs> aerospace and automobile technologies. Its spire reaches up to over 500 meters from the ground and dominates the Hong Kong skyline. Its location is somewhat linked to its connection with the tournament's competitors. It overlooks the city and encourages you to push yourself to another level. It is the essential hub for players who gain access to its increasingly luxurious rooms as they progress in the competition and has stunning views over Hong Kong Island, which again, I think all of us knew this. The views you're going to get from this hotel are going to be insane and I cannot wait. And of course, you have another screenshot here, which you guys can see another the same framed picture, I believe. And then... You also have a dressing. I think that's the augmented uh, reality thing. But anyways, that's that. Moving on, we have a connected lobby. Now, just say, after looking around your new suite, it's time to get in your car so you can explore the city. This will take you through the hotel lobby. Designed as a social hub, this majestic hall is primarily a place to meet, 
and chat with other teammates who have been invited to take part in the Solar Crown. Now, it continues to go on and say that the Solar Hotel's lobby is the main hub for all participants of the Solar Crown. This wide open space showcases the best drivers and displays activities available. It's a common area where streets and sharps are constantly meeting each other as they come down from the suites. It's the perfect place to make friends or stoke rivalries. The Solar Crown organization will give you more details on the rules and interactions between members in the lobby in a future newsletter. So it looks like we're going to have another letter for the Solar Hotel, probably obviously covering, as it says, all of these social features and what else you can do here. Pretty interesting so far. And here is the screenshot, guys, to go with it. You can see, obviously, no new cars have been revealed, but beauty salon you guys can see right there rooms and clothes shop in this screenshot guys and you can see a couple of players walking around as well but let's move on again i'll go in the screenshots in detail later so anyways let's continue on with the letter and it does say as with all luxury hotels the solar hotel offers various services for its members there's a clothing store where you can view a catalog with a wide variety of items for sale to show off your style and then in a world where luxury and reputation rule everyone wants to make the biggest impression in the solar hotel your progress and race rewards will give you access to hundreds of fashion items from the most basic to the most lavish. In the lobby, you'll find a hairstylist and cosmetic surgery service. Let's go. <laughs> Radiance has recruited the world's top surgeons to ensure you can make any change you want to your appearance so you can live the affluent life of luxury you've always dreamed of, which is literally what TD was. Finally, there is a valet service in front of the hotel to ensure you can explore the city with whichever car you feel like driving at that particular moment now that's pretty cool i do want to mention i don't think that this means that the clothing shops and the plastic surgeons and hairstylists are going to be available outside of the solar hotel i'm pretty sure we're still going to see stuff outside of the hotel it's just that because this is sounding like an hq you want to have these features also built within it as well so hopefully we do still see clothing shops and plastic surgeons and hairstylists scattered across the island as well in my opinion to make it pretty interactive but anyways continuing on it does say in the middle of the lobby four special solo crown members will always be showcased for their achievements that day whether they have distinguished themselves in races frim what frim coming back okay that's pretty crazy or extreme exploring their favorite car will be on show to all participants across the world it's the ultimate recognition of your feats and is reserved for just four players the outside of the soul hotel is your gateway to the city and is also a central meeting point for players in their cars the roads around have been designed for easy access to the hotel even when there's a lot of traffic so traffic so i mean this was kind of obvious i think we all kind of expected there to be traffic in the game but anyways whether it's a car meet a show of strength or simply somewhere to meet friends the solo hotel represents much more than your accommodation and here's a screenshot you guys are probably going to be waiting to see you guys can see on the screen right now you see quite a few players here honestly i see one two three four five six seven eight nine uh yeah at least nine players here now i don't know what lobby sizes are going to be in this game but assuming that, you know, there's at least nine players here, it's safe to assume. You might see 12 in the lobby, at least. I would really hope for more anyways, though. But the clothing, you guys can see there's a ton of different clothing, which, again, we'll get into at a later time. But looks pretty cool so far. But now we have a note from Alan Jarnu, who you guys know as the creative director for this game and also the creative director on the past TDU games. But anyways, the lobby of Solar Hotel illustrates our desire to get players together and help them interact. GDSC is not just a racing game, it's a game for fans of beautiful cars, for racing or cruising around with friends. So it was essential for us to provide a place for players to meet up. The most obvious way to do this was with social hubs where players move around with their avatars rather than at 300 km an hour on a Hong Kong island behind the wheel of a hypercar. In the first Solo Club letter, we explain that players meet in dealerships and workshops, but the Solar Hotel is the central meeting hub in TDUSC. Whether it's strutting around for the latest exclusive clothes, throwing down an instant challenge to other players, seeing your car showcase after your latest triumph, buying new clothes, or changing your avatar's appearance, the lobby has been designed as a village square in TDSC. And Al Janu also says, We added this fantastic place and its rooms to enhance the accommodation concept in TDU series. Fans of the franchise will remember houses in TD2 where you could extend your garage, but it was a very personal experience. Even though you could invite your friends, you first must make friends, and this is the objective of the Solar Hotel. We know that houses made an impression on TDU players, while its feature is not in the game when TDC launches, which, listen, we'll get into later, it is a part of a long list of features we have already researched for future content in the medium and long term. 
Now, some of you guys are probably going to be like, okay, no houses, no buy. First off, you're still buying the game, in all honesty. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get this no houses, no buy thing, but this is technically houses. I mean, we have houses, guys. It's just in the form of an apartment, pretty basically, or a condominium. It's literally that. Plus the fact that we're most likely going to be getting houses post-launch, whether that be in the long term or medium term. In all honesty, I don't have any issue. And my hype hasn't changed for this game whatsoever. We still have the views, we still have the test drive, limited to media, the TV basically. I mean, you still have the clothing store, this plastic storage, and etc. It just seems that they went this different route to start off this series, I think is a key thing to say, rather than they just said, you know, bun houses all together, we don't need them. At least they know they need houses and they're gonna bring some more back. But for now, just a solar hotel, honestly, I don't mind, guys. It's basically houses anyways especially since there's multiple suites aka multiple houses multiple apartments honestly zero issue for me but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below maybe you are some guy that says no houses no buy even though this is technically a house but anyways moving on let's see as you can see to help the competition run smoothly in its first year radiant decided to host all of its members in the same place the solar hotel but there are very few limits to radiant's ambitions and many investment projects are already being explored for future years hold on what these projects include real estate projects that would directly contribute whoa hold on uh, yo we didn't even get to this part yet so there oh, hold on hold on let, let, let's go through this again but there are very few limits to the radiance ambitions there and many investment projects are already being explored for future years these projects include real estate projects that would directly contribute to the radiance growth and global influence of the solar crown and its ever-increasing number of members so basically, I think that is saying that, you know, we are going to have more real estate post launch, which is good. As I told you guys, bro, Test Drive is one of those games that can have insane post launch support. And hey, fingers crossed, bro, if KT and Nakon really come through with that, we could get better post launch support than the Crew 2, Forza Horizon 5, and Need Speed combined, man. It's just because of the lifestyle features that TDU has. But anyways, last but not least, it does say, while waiting for your chance to visit the Solar Hotel, you should rest assured that all of the Radiance construction teams are hard at work putting the finishing touches to their projects so you can come in the best way possible. Reservations and the first tours will open soon. Stay tuned, which I guess would mean that they're going to show it off more later. And last but not least, you guys can see a screenshot here of the guy walking and obviously another screenshot, which I kind of like analyzing these screenshots in more detail so you guys can see it. And by the way, up on the screen right now, uh, I always get this wrong, bro. This way, I, hopefully I'm in frame, but this way, you guys can see the video to see all eight screenshots in detail as we cover them, their location, some of the missed details that you guys might not have noticed. And yeah, that's all I have to say, guys, in this video. If you did enjoy, leave a like and subscribe for more TDU content. And let's be honest, the hype hasn't died down. We're still technically going to be getting houses post-launch based on what I've learned from this uh, letter. And yeah, I don't have any issues, but... That's all I have to say, guys. I'm out7. I'll see you guys in another video. I'm out, guys. Peace.